Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm, I'm back with another quick insight. So today is exciting because uh, Daz, 3D and Taffy are announcing a brand new text to 3D character engine. <laughs> yes, you read that right. And it's gonna be based on the uh, Genesis in, uh, character models. And so essentially think about it as a mid journey, but using 3D characters. So if you want to like make, make a certain exactly. model, right? Like make <laughs> me, you know, a middle-aged Asian guy or character or person. And then you're able to pretty much wait for the engine to do that. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so they, I think they are, Daz 3D is really well-placed to do this because they already have uh, these uh, Genesis models in uh, Victoria and Michael. And you have uh, like a wealth of uh, the developers and, you know, people that contribute to that database, to the marketplace and Daz 3D. And it's a, it's a natural progression. So this is going to be so interesting because we you're going to be able to generate characters that uh, with just text, right? Look at that. It's like, it's amazing that uh, this is where we're headed right now, but it's also going to make it so much faster to generate characters for sci-fi movies and things like that. We'll make like a cast, right? And I think the biggest, I guess, um, anticipation for me is how this is going to get into, for example, the Unreal Engine, because you want to be able to take these mo models somewhere and use them to animate them you, with facial animation, body, full body animation. And uh, so I I do know that uh, Daz 3D got a mega grant from Epic Games, so they, it's a partnership there already. And so it's going to be really, really interesting to see this, uh, the natural trans, like, uh, I guess, uh, progression of where this technology is headed. But the fact that you can now just use text <laughs> to describe what you want and the engine is able to just generate that character is, is amazing. So, I mean, today we're talking about Apple releasing the Apple Vision Pro. And here again, we see something revolutionary because uh, right now there are very few AI engines that do this really well, right? And uh, to create a realistic characters that are fully textured, ready for animation with a rig in it, right? And you're able to get <laughs> it's amazing. So on this page, uh, uh, if you go to maketaffy.com in the newsroom, you're able to sign up for the beta right here. Just click on that to join, and uh, you'll be able to take it for a ride. But this is this is groundbreaking. I mean, it's really really incredible to see where we're headed in such a short time, and. Uh, you think about all the characters you've purchased in the past, you know, from Das 3D, right? And you would have wanted like a specific character for your short film, but really it's you would have to manually try to adjust the dials just to get that typical, uh, the specific character. And you would need to, to have access to models or even like some blend shapes that are there. So they are providing this so that you can actually utilize the Genesis model foundation and be able to create this car. And then you're able to send it to different programs, you know, and you can see right there, export to the Unreal Engine, Unity, Blender, 3ds Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, and Daz Studio, right? So it's amazing what this is gonna be able to do for us, especially as uh, like indie filmmakers. It's incredible. Guys, I encourage you to try it out. I mean, rather to join the beta and sign up for the beta and uh, maybe you get uh, selected in the early batch, you know, so you can get a chance to try it out. I am, I've signed up and I'm waiting for my, you know, account <laughs> to be created so I can take it for a ride. And then I'll share with you what the results are. It's amazing what they've been able to do with this. And I can't wait to take it for a ride and see how I'm able to generate like different characters and then animate them, bring them to life, maybe using like a face motion 3D and maybe and also sending them to the Unreal Engine to use the AR kit, right? And I can't wait actually to see if we'll be able to get data from the Apple Vision Pro for better animation, facial animation to use in uh, some of these characters. But anyways, guys, that's what I wanted to share with you today is that uh, there's a there's new... A new <laughs> update from Daz 3D and Taffy announcing uh, the text to 3D character engine and you can check it out on this link and watch uh, like read some of the details here that they're uh, offering it's amazing
<laughs> what a day to be i keep saying what a day what a time to be alive right it's this is just changing the way we do animation and make short films is that you're gonna be able to on the fly just describe a character and um you know what i'm curious about is uh being able to describe african-american characters like you know afrocentric characters i really really i'm curious to see if i'll be able to generate black hair you know clothing for different kinds of uh, uh in, in like ethnicities like if i'm looking for doing like a sci-fi uh um, from you know africa you know i will i be able to do that so <laughs> and you'll be able to go back and forth between the different you know creations which is really important because sometimes you might go you may like like uh like iteration that you've made but you may want to you may go down two steps but you're like man i, I wish i could go back to the previous one just like we do with our mid journey so thank you so much for joining me today again again uh, if you're new to my channel uh, do please spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video and do please consider becoming a patron thank you so much for all my patrons that are supporting me much appreciation guys dare to dream big and stay safe much love bye for now